as I, I told you earlier, we will uh, just um, give a tease, teasing uh, teaser presentations to you so that I will let each researcher tell just a little bit so that you will get curious and want to learn more. So please, um, postdoctoral researcher Tuukka Puranen. Uh, we developed uh, a modeling framework that is unified or a set of optimization problems that can, that can be applied to several problems in the industry in transportation, transportation and distribution. And it's more cost efficient way to develop optimization tools which allow small and medium enterprises to transport more with less. Thank you. And uh, postdoctoral researchers, researcher Tony Ruohonen. Thank you. Uh, our ICT-based simulations uh, allow the time needed to complete the patient treatment process from arrival to discharge to improve by 38% in an emergency department of the uh, Central Finland Healthcare District. This was done in uh, close collaboration with the healthcare staff. They come up with new ideas and we uh, evaluated those ideas and validated the best uh, solutions for actual implementation by using the constructed simulation model. And project manager uh, Juho Heikkinen, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, we found out that especially sm small companies find it difficult to get support from the universities. So uh, we started designing new collaboration models, especially for SMEs. And for example, we designed and realized a study course that brings together the needs of companies and other groups of interest and the multiple skills of students and uh, research faculties and departments. Thank you. Uh, Barbara Crawford is our managing editor. About nine years ago, uh, researchers at the Agora Center recognized the need in the field of publishing for an interdisciplinary journal that brought together the human aspect of research. And so in 2005, the Human Technology and inter uh, Interdisciplinary Journal on Humans in uh, ICT Environments was launched. And since then, we have had um, uh, 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 excuse me, we've had um, uh, dozens of people from around the world submit papers and um, publish in our journal. We've also had a, a huge growth in the number of people uh, coming to our website, a growth of uh, over 200% in people uh, reading pa pages on our website. The bigger issue here is that our journal is an open access journal, fully open access and supported by the uh, Agora Center, and that takes away the barriers to publishing and uh, access to quality research. Thank you. And uh, research professor Maria Kankaranta, her specialty is in innovative learning. Hello. Uh, we have developed a framework for 21st century learning and teaching. And one component of this framework is a future learning space or, or the concept of future learning space. And this concept combines physical, virtual, personal, and collaborative elements. And it includes especially concepts and prototypes for game-based and mobile learning. And currently, we demonstrate and model our thinking through the continuous development of Agora Learning Space. And I warmly welcome you all to visit our future classroom later today. Uh, Professor Perti Saariloma couldn't be here, but he sent uh, his um, researchers here, and I would like to give the microphone to project researcher Jussi Jokini. Thank you. Uh, we designed a gesture-based uh, interaction concept uh, as a novel way to uh, operate a machine tool in a factory environment. We used laboratory experiments uh, to create a set of gestures which would take the emotional and cognitive needs of the user into account. We then created a working prototype and uh, brought it to the target users, the floor workers, in a proper machine shop and industrial environment and tested it with them. Uh, the gestures were very easy. I can show you some uh, after I give the mic away. Okay. 
Okay, thank you, Jussi. And then project manager, Esa Kannisto. <clears throat> During the past 10 years, we have developed uh, a micro innovation model which is based on interdisciplinary innovation research and especially, especially uh, on cognitive science. With the micro innovation model, we have been able to support the crucial development from ideas into the innovation. This is, has been done already in several in the enterprises, enterprises from SME to large scale industry. Thank you, Esa. And uh, our next speaker will be uh, Professor Marita Vos. She is from the communications department. And our research shows uh, great possibilities for a community, a community approach in crisis management, in emergency management, using mobile phone technology, services, and also social media. This in cooperation with the Department of Communication, and we also give research directions, or I should say a roadmap, uh, showing directions for future research into this uh, area, which will hopefully contribute to many more solutions for wicked problems. Thank you, Marita. And next, I will give the microphone to Professor Vakantertian from the uh, computer science field. Please, Vakant. Thank you. I'm representing Industrial Ontologies Group, and uh, we have uh, designed a new generation uh, software uh, platform called Global Understanding Environment. Uh, uh, within such environment, uh, one can uh, uh, design very complex uh, system from distributed web-based components, as simple as a child design simple picture from the puzzles. and. Uh, uh, real systems that we have uh, developed based on such environment includes uh, social networks, Meshapper, uh, business intelligence on top of linked data for power industry in Finland, uh, uh, data integration solution for paper industry in Finland, and uh, uh, semantic portal for uh, quality assurance in higher education. Thank you. Thank you, Vakan. And next uh, is our postdoctoral researcher, Tula Nousiainen. Please, Tula. We have created several prototypes of mobile applications in the fields of education and well being, and in particular, solutions that are related to rehabilitation and learning outside of the classroom have aroused great interest in user groups and displayed potential in motivating different user groups in the use of them. Thank you. And our director, um, research professor in innovative actions, specifically service innovations, Antti Hautamäki. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. We have, we have concentrated very much on, on, on regional development and how to improve competitive, competitiveness or, and well-being of, of regions uh, by developing new innovations and encouraging inno innovative companies to grow up. The other topic we have studied is role of universities, how universities can spread their knowledge to, to the benefit of society. So it's very important for Agora also to understand that how university collaborate with society around it. Uh, Professor uh, Heikki Lyytinen, uh, also uh, the head of our board from the beginning. Based on 20 years of research of dyslexia, severe reading difficulty, uh, uh, we have developed a research-based uh, reading support solution uh, to help children uh, around the world. This ECAPELI in Finland, Rafokem in English, and uh, the name used in outside of Finland, is now available for all children in Finland. More than 25,000 uh, children uh, uses it every, every month to learn to read. The Ministry of Education has taken care of the maintenance costs. And Professor Ulla Richardson will continue. Thank you. Um, based on these extremely good uh, graphic game results in Finland, 
we have decided to uh, expand our research and implementation to other language environments in the world. So um, it's always research-based and theoretical, theory-based our approach. So we go, it's always evidence-based and then we implement it into different countries. And um, uh, the aim is to help children globally. But we have started with Africa and other developing countries. And uh, finally, Lea, please. Ten years ago, uh, many little seven to eight year old uh, school children spent alone 10 to 20 uh, hours weekly at home. After their own short school days, they had to wait for their parents to come home from work. During our Mukava uh, project, we de developed new collaborative um, afternoon activities at schools. Our successful pilots led to change in the Finnish school le legislation. Now mun municipalities receive state support for organizing supervised morning and afternoon activities for children on the first and second grade. Okay, thank you. And I hope that everybody realized that these are not the only results of these researchers or, or the Agora Center, but uh, you are encouraged to learn more, and which is a good reason to start our coffee break when I hope that you will find discussion partners from this group or from the other Agora Center people. Thank you.